Next to Sonic, Tails might be the most recognizable character from the Sonic game series, and with good reason. Tails has been there in the video games since the second Sonic title, but there's a little bit of backstory regarding his creation that I would like to go over today. So basically, this all started with a Twitter post by Yasuchi Yamaguchi. He was Tails' creator and the chief artist for the second Sonic game. He would explain in a series of long Twitter posts a whole ton of information about Tails that was really fascinating. Now, keep in mind that these posts were written in Japanese, so grammatically, it's not perfect. I don't speak Japanese, and so it's had to go through an online translator, and we make do with what we have. Yamaguchi would discuss that Yuji Naka, the head programmer for Sonic, had planned for Sonic 2 to feature a 1.5 player mode. Essentially, it was a game mode where anyone, regardless of skill, could play with somebody else. The goal wasn't to make this new character a rival to Sonic, but instead to make it more of a sidekick for Sonic. From here, an internal contest was held within Sega's Technical Institute. Unfortunately, this institute has the acronym STI. The goal in this contest was to create this new character. Yamaguchi would end up winning, but unfortunately, as far as I can tell, whatever art that he had made regarding this new Tails character has been lost to time. The closest thing I could find is what's on screen right now, which is some art that was sent to Deke from Sega in 1992 when Deke was working on one of the Sonic cartoons. Hey, this is Editing Sam from the Future with a little interjection. Uh, so basically, just while I was Googling this even further, I found some more interesting stuff that is pretty relevant to what we're looking at right now. So if you've ever watched any of the Deke Sonic cartoons, you've noticed that Tails is weirdly brown compared to how he looks in the games. And I've learned that the reason for that is that because Deke was sent this early sprite sheet along with the artwork, and in the sprite sheet, they used a much darker brown for Tails. Interesting little thing, and I want to give a big thank you to Place and H, who made all of this information public, was hugely helpful. This is the earliest known art of Tails, at least from what I could find, and it's really cool to look at because it coincides with a lot of Yamaguchi's explanations about the character, such as the fact that Tails' gloves and boots are too big for him, and so he ties them with a belt. Also, while on the topic of interesting things that Yamaguchi had thought up while creating Tails, I'd also like to add that he stated that Sonic and Tails' relationship was based off of Piccolo and Gohan from Dragon Ball. Now I'm gonna be honest, I never really watched Dragon Ball, so I could be way off base here, but based on what I've seen, this didn't seem to come to fruition. I mean, maybe their relationship is similar to Piccolo and Gohan, and if you know anything, please let me know in the comments. Now, here's where things actually start to get a little bit confusing, and that's because we're going to be finding multiple stories being told about essentially the same thing. From the get-go, Tails was named Miles Prower. It's a funny pun, but it's also a pun that only really works in English. This would lead to a bit of a confusing decision, due to the fact that this was planned to be his name everywhere, regardless of the region or the language that the game was in. So where did the name Tails come from? Well, according to Yuji Naka, in an interview that he had with Mega Drive Shock, Tails was always planned to be named Miles, and it wasn't until he was having discussions with ABC for the TV show that was presumably The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog that the nickname for Tails would end up coming up. Interestingly, though, if you were to ask Sega of America's former marketing director, Al Nielsen, well, he would tell you that he remembers things pretty differently. In his recollection, as stated during an interview with US Gamer, Madeline Schroeder, the product manager for Sega of America, had approached Nielsen with the name of this new character that had been sent from Japan. This character was, of course, Miles Prower. Right off the bat, Nielsen was against the idea of having a character named that. He stated that, although it was an interesting pun, it really wasn't a great name for a character. However, according to Nielsen, Sega would not budge on the name and refused to change it. It actually wasn't until the president of Sega of America, Tom Kalinske, got involved. Kalinske had Nielsen and Schroeder write a backstory for Miles, explaining how he got the nickname Tails. And it's here where we start to see a little bit of a shift with Sega. The way that Nielsen explains it is that they presented this backstory to Sega of Japan, and it actually got one of the designers to tear up after he read the story detailing the relationship between Sonic and Tails. From here, Naka relented and told Yamaguchi, who also goes by Judy Toyota if you're just curious about the different name in this story, 
that he could call this new character Tails. They essentially made a compromise where his full name would be Miles Prower and his nickname would be Tails. It works pretty well. The story that was written up by Sega of America is actually pretty sweet, and it can be found in the book Console Wars. It's actually kind of a shame that it isn't super well archived online. It wasn't actually until I found the story in Console Wars and then looked it up that I found that some people have posted it on a couple internet forums here or there online. I won't be reading the story in its entirety, but I think it's for sure worth the read, and I'll be including a link to one of those discussion forums that posts the story, because really I don't think that you should have to get a book to read this. Basically, Tails, who in this story is named Miles Monotail for some reason, has two tails, and he's teased by everyone for it. He feels like having these two tails makes him lesser than others and essentially places him at a disadvantage. Then, one day, while upset, he ends up meeting his hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. While going to introduce himself, Miles would trip over his tails, and he would get pretty upset. Sonic would then take Miles in, and he would train him to use his tails in ways that make him special and unique. And so he would use what essentially he believed to be one of his greatest disadvantages as one of the things that made him a hero. From there, Miles was no more, and people would start calling him Tails. It's a pretty cute little story, and honestly, I was surprised I never heard about it before I started researching this topic. Now, personally, I'm much more inclined to believe the Sega of USA story regarding Tails' name, because there's just so much more documentation backing it up. And I would essentially chalk this up to Yuji Naka just misremembering things. Speaking of that though, there's this other little interview that I'm really effy on including, so take it all with a grain of salt, because essentially I can't find any additional information on it. So this website, Schmopulations, posts translated interviews, which is honestly amazing. Except for this particular interview, at least from what I can tell, they didn't post where it was from, which makes it lose a lot of credibility in my opinion and it makes it hard for me to fact check anything that I'm reading here. It seems to be somewhere around the late 90s or early 2000s based on the discussion of the Dreamcast in the story. So essentially, in this interview, Yuji Naka mentions that Tails was initially based off of a Tanuki from one of the Sega UFO Patcher arcade games, and was later made cuter by Yamaguchi who made him into that two-tailed fox which was inspired by a Kitsune. Now, it's a shame that the only place I could find this information was here, because honestly, it's pretty interesting, but without the ability to really find anywhere else talking about Tails initially being a Tanuki, it just needs to essentially be taken at face value as something that may or may not have happened. One last cool thing regarding Tails' creation is that Yamaguchi, who like I said sometimes goes by Judy Toyota, also sometimes goes by Judy Totoya, worked on the Fantasy Star manga in 1990. It's here that he would draw a character who I think's name is pronounced Meow. It's spelled M-Y-A-U. I've never played any Fantasy Star and when looking up this character, he looks nothing like how he was depicted in the manga, instead he looks more like a cat, which is why I think it's Meow. Meow is actually really interesting to me because, I mean, just look at him. If you didn't know any better, you would definitely think that this character was in some way related to Tails. Design-wise, from the shape of his head to that little tuft of hair like Tails, and of course the two Tails, it's pretty clear that a good chunk of Tails likely came from this character Meow. It's also funny in a roundabout way where if you squint a little bit, this kind of makes Meow some of the earliest art of Tales to exist. Like I said, if you squint a little bit and bend the truth. Just before I close off, I want to add some funny little facts about Tales. There's two main ones that I often think are overlooked by people. The first one is that Tales absolutely adores mint. It's one of those things that was brought up in a game manual pretty early on, similar to how Knuckles likes grapes. But what I really liked is that in a Sonic Twitter takeover, there was one specific post that really leaned into Tails' love of mint, which I thought was really funny. I'm going to play a short clip of it right now. I'll also have it linked down below if you want to watch the whole thing because it's totally worth it. Guys, I haven't had that many mints. Tails, there are three empty mint tins on the floor around you. Rug at five. Tails, stop! That's a comical amount of mints! Additionally, Tails is also a character who is afraid of lightning. It's something that's only really been seen in the Sonic OVA, but it's still cute nonetheless. With that, that's more or less the gist of how Tails was created. His character would be tweaked a little bit design-wise throughout the years, but all in all, that's Tails. If you enjoyed this look into this character, I would suggest that you check out my other videos. I have one on Shadow the Hedgehog, whose name surprisingly went through a lot of twists and changes, as well as Sonic's cut girlfriend Madonna. 
As always, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a like, or you could subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, really, I can't tell you what to do. At the end of the day, I just hope that you have a good one.